Hello everyone, this is Carmen Van de of the Brain Wagon blog. Ha, bet you weren't expecting that. This is Mark Van de of the Brain Wagon blog. So today, uh, for reasons which weren't entirely clear to me, Carmen showed some interest in actually learning how to program an Arduino. And this is her first project. So what does it do? Uh, it turns the LEDs off and on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're red, green, and yellow. Right? Or red, yellow, green? Right? It's a stoplight, right? Exactly. It uh, starts at red, and then it goes to green, and delays for a little bit, and then it goes to yellow, and then delays, and then goes back to red. So, uh, how hard do you think this uh, Arduino stuff is? Oh, there? this is super simple. It's yeah? Really You've been programming for quite a while, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But is... also, you plugged in most of the things for me. So. <laughs> well, there's electronics you need to know about, which have to do with, like, current limiting resistors and blah, blah, blah. But... But we hooked up some switches earlier, right? Yeah. We and we switches. had motors, and we had we had the yeah, servo motor. The servo motor, and then the off and on button, and and the, uh, the little piezo buzzer. Piezo buzzer. So that's all cool, and uh, so like you know, ninety percent of what you need to know to make an Arduino do stuff. Now all you have to do is figure out what your first project's going to be. <laughs> You're going to make something uh, shake and dance, or do something like that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we going to tell that this Arduino is your Arduino instead of my Arduino? Mark nicely labeled it. It's the car it's the Arduino. Arduino. <laughs> <laughs> For Carmen. Anyway, well, uh, so, well, that's all we have for today. I just spent, uh, literally, it was only about an hour getting Carmen up to speed on this. We got it all installed, got this hooked up. One thing I did find out about these OSEP Unos, these are the ones you can buy at Fry's. You need to make sure that you don't use the Uno bootloader, which I thought was really bizarre. They come with the Dayu Milanove, whatever <laughs> that bootloader is. So if you got one of these, in spite of the fact that it says Uno, um, the first it. batch of them don't actually load with the Uno bootloader, which I don't understand. But apparently you can fix that by reburning the bootloader. But uh, this has been Mark and Carmen Van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon blog. Hope you guys are having a great holiday. Oh, we forgot one thing. We should give a big thank you to... LadyAda.net Her tutorials are really great. Carmen was using some of the code to get some ideas on how to make this uh, sort of stoplighty thing. And uh, if anybody's learning to program, I mean, there's tons of tutorials out there, but Lady Ada is certainly one of the best. So big thumbs up to her.